Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. An assaulted drone pilot wins in court. We have Skybrows that releases a new update and then our yearly PSA about uh, drone flying near wildfires. Let's get to it. The drone pilot won a court case after being assaulted during a property shoot in Tucson, Arizona, not far from us here. Uh, Zach Zewak is his name, a real estate photographer. He was attacked by a neighbor while operating his drone. Now the court ruled in his favor, dismissing the neighbor's claim and focusing on the physical assault from the neighbor. The person who attacked him claimed that Zewak uh, harassed him first. I actually read uh, his Facebook post detailing the whole thing. But the judge had a hard time believing that someone who was hired to film a million dollar listing would actually go out of their way to assault the neighbor. So following the incident, uh, Zibiak said that he implemented new safety measures, including wearing a drone operator's vest and then also using a 360 degree camera. Uh, he actually took him to small claim court, which uh, I have to say the neighbor has to think that he's lucky that he actually didn't go uh, higher up than that. Uh, this would have been probably a much, much larger settlement uh, for the drone pilot. So. Um, it sucks that these things happen, but more and more, I think we're seeing some of these reports, unfortunately, out there. So make sure that you do what he did, which is uh, have a 360 camera recording when you're flying, just so you have proof in case something happens. Next up, Skybrows has announced major updates to its 3D modeling platform, uh, significantly en enhancing the speed and the quality of the models. Uh, the update includes a 40% boost in loading speeds and then improved interior mapping capabilities. With Skybrows, you can quickly process complex interior spaces from very short videos rather than having hundreds of photos uploaded to uh, the, uh, the website. Now, the platform now supports uh, 8K, 4K, and 2K textures, uh, depending on the subscription tier that you're using. Uh, if you're not familiar, Skybrows is used by multiple verticals in this industry, uh, including law enforcement, real estate, State and emergency services uh, by making 3D models way more efficient and accessible than using uh, a lot of different photos. And now it's time for our yearly PSA regarding flying drones near wildfires. Uh, the shortest way to say this is, well, don't be that guy. But more seriously, if you fly your drone near wildfire operations, they will stop their operation, uh, potentially leading to more acres burn, uh, houses burning down, and even lives lost. Illegal drones disrupted firefighting efforts last week in two different places. Uh, one of them was a brush fire in Del Mar Heights in California on June 25th. These operators forced a delay of three water drops, potentially worsening the fire. Uh, authorities identified one individual uh, launching the drone uh, during the operation. And uh, it's not clear at this stage if there was any charges that were filed, but uh, the fire burned 23 acres and then forced evacuation and was only 50% contained by the next morning. Uh, another similar story was also reported out of Oregon in the Upper Applegate Fire in uh, Jackson County three days before all of that. So again, don't be that guy. And yes, I know DJI released an e-bike. Uh, I love mountain biking, but this is not really something that we're gonna be covering on this channel. What would you like to see DJI make next? Uh, an air fryer, uh, electric laundry basket, uh, speedboat? Let me know in the comments. That's it. I hope you have a good uh, 4th of July. Uh, no live on the community uh, today, but uh, you have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday for the live. Force the delay of three water. One more time. Ah.